Hey, 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 it's Kelsey Ray coming at you live from Charleston. As you guys are hopping on, please say hi in the comments. If you uh, want to be entered into my giveaway, all you got to do is tap the little share button, share this out, type in the comments where it's shared, and then there you go. Watch my stories to see if you win. Um, all right, so if you're new here, you don't know who I am. I am actually, <laughs> I help people make six figures from their phones. I have been doing this for four years, and uh, that's really like the gist of it. I'm a mom of four, so say hi in the comments if you are new and you did not know that about me. So I'm going to talk to you guys the number one thing that I get asked the most, and so can you guys take a guess, a wild guess in the comments, what do I get asked the most? Hi, Angela. Hi, Corinda. Hi, Amber. Thank you for sharing, Angela. I appreciate that, girl. Uh, and if you guys want to be entered into the giveaway, you got to share it out on Facebook. So my Facebook is linked in my bio if you guys want to go hop over there and make sure that you guys are saying hi in the comments that I know that you can see and hear me okay. Um, hi, Logan. What's up, girl? Hi, Cody. Hi, Megan. All right. So we had a little bit of a drama this morning, drama situation. If you're a mom, type in the comments the word mom, then be because literally you probably understand when I tell you that, it, does anybody here have a, like a problem child? Now I love my little girl, okay? I love her two pieces. She's my rainbow baby. She's like, she's so important. Obviously my kids are very important to me, but like she is my baby, all right? Uh, we had a little, bit of a, a little bit of a tip. Did you guys see my post earlier? You can type yes in the comments if so. Hi, Jessica. Good morning. I can imagine people ask all that all the time. Oh, ask what? How much money I make? Yeah, they do ask me that all the time. And I'm, I'll answer that too. Probably not the answer that you want to hear, but my travel pack should be coming today. It's awesome. So you saw my post and you know Callie uh, actually has a cyst on the inside of her VJ. I don't want to say anything that's going to get me banned. But anyways, we're figuring that out. She's taking a nap right now. She's so freaking cute. So if you're a mom, you can't even see her. But if you're a mom, then you probably definitely want to be following me. So hello. Anyways, the most... Um, quite the most asked question that I get on a daily freaking basis. I'm not joking. How many of you guys watch my stories? Type yes in the comments. People ask me all the time, Kelsey, how do you stay so motivated? Now, motivation is not energy. Motivation is not, uh, I don't know. I just want to, I just want to address this because I feel like it's a really big problem in the world in general. How many of you guys feel like you have no motivation? Type me in the comments, right? She's a mini Eric. Oh, I know. Okay. I know. I get it. She looks just like Eric. I'm like, I know that. Make sure you guys share this out. Type in the comments the word shared. So anyways, if you feel like you lack motivation, I'm about to change your entire freaking life. So I would highly, I would highly encourage you to share this out and type in the comments the word shared so that other people can benefit from what I'm about to say. By the way, do y'all like my outfit? Rate, rate the dress. I got this from a Target in California. So Walmart or Target, one of those. Motivation. If you watch my stories, then you know. I work out every single day. I write out I am statements every single day. I read every single day. I, can, you guys, can you tell me something in the comments that you do every single day without thinking about it? Like literally just think for a second. What is one thing that you do every day without thinking about it do you brush your teeth do you wash your face i also like literally from the time that i wake up y'all want to hear my my routine my morning routine okay i think this might actually really help change your entire life so i don't know how many of you guys watch me to uh actually shift your life into the best life possible but i would highly recommend that you take my advice on this because i've lived through both sides of it okay so my morning routine sets my day up for success i'm gonna address the whole motivation thing in a second tell y'all how i keep the motivation in my life uh and if you already know the answer to this you can tell me in the comments below and i'm, I'm gonna say bingo hi kaylee what's up girl elena thank you for sharing hi brie uh, so anyways, um, my morning routine, I literally wake up at 530 in the morning. Sometimes I try to actually get up at five. How, what time do you guys wake up in the morning? So 530 in the morning, I get out of the bed. Now I listen, I like to set an alarm for 515 because I like to hit the snooze. I don't know what it is about my brain, but I just like to hit that button knowing I got 15 more minutes left so that it gives me more. It gives me more of like a, um, okay, Kelsey, you got 15 minutes. And when that alarm goes off again, you are getting your ass out of this freaking bed. Cause I don't know if you guys have ever tried to wake up at 530 in the morning or if you currently do tell me in the comments below how what time you wake up uh it's hard okay it's hard it's not freaking easy um but anyways i wake up at 5 30 i get about the bed i go in there i wash my face i brush my teeth i get dressed um let's see what else i then gather all my stuff eric's usually still sleeping the kids are still sleeping i go downstairs i sit down at my desk before i even open my phone 
How many of you guys, the first thing you do when you open your eyes in the morning is you look at your phone? Say yes in the comments. No shame, okay? No shame. I, I can almost guarantee most of you do that. I did it for the longest time since I've had a cell phone, okay? So, hi, Samantha. Hi, Lachey. What's up, you guys? Please share this out. Type in the comments or share. Anyways, all right. So, I come in here and I sit down. I have two things, two books right here. So, one book with my pen, the, the tan book, this is what I write my I am statements in. So I sit down at my desk and then I read. Usually like a whole chapter, a half a chapter, whatever, till the kids wake up. It just doesn't, I don't know, until I get something that feels valuable to me. Uh, it just, the time of it varies. There's no certain aspect of that. So I get all that done and then I set my phone up. I get my water, um, set my phone up and then I mix up my ketones on my stories. If you watch my stories, say I watch your stories in the comments because hi, thanks, you're a true supporter and I love you guys so much. Thank you for sharing, Stephanie. So, anyways, I mix up my ketones, and then usually the kids are coming down here. And I, y'all, I'm telling you, this happens every single morning exactly like this, right? Can you guys think of what I'm about to tell you? Like the life lesson I'm about to teach you? Tell me in the comments if you already know where I'm going with this. So then the kids come in here, I hug them for a second, um, I go and finish if they need any, if Eric needs help getting them ready, which he usually doesn't, he usually does it all by himself. How many of you guys have a spouse that like really steps their shit up when it comes to parenting? Like you love that man more than anything when you see him parenting the kids. Like it, it, I'm just like, oh my, he wakes up, takes them to school, gets them ready, all that shit. Like if you, if your significant other makes you do everything all the time, like what the F? Leave them, okay? I'm just kidding. Maybe not. I don't know. But they come in here, whatever. I hug them. They get ready. They leave. I then will sit down. I'll check maybe some texts. I'll check my team chat. I'll do whatever. And then I put my shoes on and I leave. And I go to the gym and I work out. When I get done working out, I come home. I eat. I sit down. I answer messages. I go live if I need to. I'm, I post all my content by 1030. So I have this specific schedule that I do every single day. And people always ask me, hi, oh, thank you for sharing, Karina. I appreciate that. Hi, Jason. Hi, Angela. Hi, Timothy. What's up, you guys? Make sure you say hi in the comments if you can hear and see me okay still. Okay. So anyways, um, people say, Kelsey, how do you have, can I, hold on, let me take a sip of this. By the way, Keto Kick is like the best thing you could ever drink for your, for your energy and focus and appetite control. A minute ago, I was like, damn, I'm so hungry. So um, I drink some more ketones. So anyways, <laughs> motivation. You lack motivation, yes? Type a yes in the comments if you feel like you do. Let me tell you something. Motivation is a feeling. Motivation is an emotion. And a, you know what sets apart the winners from the losers? If you're a winner, type in the comments the word winner. Like I genuinely, genuinely want to know how many of you guys have that mindset of I'm going to win at life no matter what it takes. It doesn't have to be doing what I'm doing, but you know you're going to win at life. Type winner. The one thing that winners have that losers don't is self-discipline. I cannot stress this to you enough. If you are trying to get your life on track, if you're trying to get better when it comes to your fitness, if you're trying to get better when it comes to your health and your eating and your reading and your writing and your relationships and your, uh, your literally your, with your spouse or your kids or parenting or drinking more water or drinking a supplement or whatever it is, you know what you have to have first and foremost? Self-discipline. You have got to say, okay, you know what? I know that when I wake up in the morning, I'm going to do X, Y, you know what? I know I'm going to sleep by 930 every single night because I know I'm waking up 530. That's a non-negotiable. And I don't even care if I don't get sleep at, the, at, the, at night. Like last night, y'all. Last night. Okay, if you're a mom, again, if you're just not hopping on in your mom, type mom in the comments because you probably have been through this more times than you can freaking count, right? The sleepless nights. It gets, when you're a mom, it just is what it is. Like, yeah, like Eric helps me, like we'll take turns. But when Callie's sick or when she's not feeling good or when she has a cyst, okay, she's waking up and she's not going back to sleep. That's like, it, it falls on me because I am her comfort. Okay, so when you're a mom and you have kids, how many kids do you have? Tell me in the comments below. Okay, and tell me their ages also. I want to know that too. Um, because if you've ever experienced having a baby and then them growing up, whatever, and you having them full time, it's so much. So you're not always going to get eight hours of sleep. You're going to be tired. You're not going to want to wake up at 530 in the morning. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Kayleen. What's up? Hi, Adriana. Make sure you guys share this out. Type in the comments word shared. You have five, seven. Wow. So my thing is last night, I, Callie woke up at like 115 in the morning. Okay. 
So I was like, oh, before though, last night we put our kids to bed at seven o'clock. That's something else I want to know. What time do your kids go to bed at night? Okay. This is a huge part. This plays a huge part in your self-discipline and a huge part in your mooning, mooning, in your, in your morning routine. Okay. Uh, and we had to get this down to a science so that we could structure our life the way that we wanted it to be. So we weren't stressed out so that we weren't tired all the time. So anyways, last night we put her to bed at 6.30, 7 o'clock. She was not wanting to fall asleep. I was like, all right, this is not going to be a good night. She's crying. She's been itching for a couple of days, like messing down there. And I'm like thinking like something's got to be wrong. I'm going to take her to the doctor tomorrow, yada, yada, whatever. So sure enough, 1.15, she wakes up and it was an hour and a half had passed where I would keep walking in there and putting her back down and rocking in there. I had to rinse her off a couple of times. I had to put some, we put Greek yogurt on it because I thought that it was like a yeast infection. I don't know. So anyways, we did. And now I'm thinking back. So it's like that probably actually hurt her cyst. But anyways, um, the point of it is, is I got no sleep last night. I probably slept four hours. Now, listen, Eric wakes up at six o'clock and he takes the kids to school. That would have been a perfect reason. How many of you guys feel like you make excuses for yourself all the time? Again, the difference between winners and losers is the self-discipline. And so for me, me this morning, I could have easily said to myself, Eric's going to leave, get up and take them to school at six o'clock. I don't really have to get up right now. I could have slept until I literally just could have slept in. As long as I want to. He takes Callie to the nanny. He takes the other kids to school. And then boom, boom. We don't get the kids back until 3 o'clock, usually in the afternoon. But in my brain, I'm thinking, if I don't get up and move my body and continue on my routine, then number one, my mood is going to be fudged. Okay, my mood is going to be messed up because I don't know how many of you feel like you... How many of you guys have anxiety? Type me in the comments if you have anxiety. You know what the number one cause of anxiety is? Lack of control and lack of structure. So like lack of structure, when there's shit all over your house, it causes anxiety, okay? And so anyways, I knew I could not sleep in and I knew I needed to get up and do my shit no matter how tired I was. And another reason that I drink exogenous ketones, you will not catch me having this much energy with three and four hours of sleep without drinking ketones. Like, I don't know how y'all do it, okay? I don't know how you do it. The link is in the bio. Go look at it. So anyways, um... It's self-discipline. So I knew how to get up and I had to complete my stuff no matter how tired I was. And so people ask me all the time, Kelsey, how do you have so much discipline? You guys, discipline. How do you have so much motivation? I have self-discipline. I have tasks that I complete every single day, no matter what the circumstances are of my life. On the weekends, how many of you guys have your kids all weekend, every weekend? We have four kids every other weekend, two kids every other weekend in between that. This past weekend was one of the first times that I actually was like, you know what? No, I'm not going to allow this to get me off my shit. I'm still going to go live. I'm still going to read my book. I'm still going to write my I am statements. Okay. And so that's exactly what I did. Now it wasn't in order like it normally is. It's six o'clock in the morning, but I got my shit done. I still read my book. I still went live and I still read, I wrote out my I am statements because I know that those are the things that's pouring in the belief to myself. And you know what else it's doing? How many of you guys want, want to know how I'm so, um, my story has been removed. That's so old. Anyways, I just got weird. I'm, I'm live on Instagram and I just got like a notification pop up for like a violating community guidelines of a picture that I posted like literally like a year ago. That was so weird. Anyways, hi Emily, hi Rebecca, hi Danica. Make sure you share this out. Type in the comments where share. You guys feel like this is bringing you value, type in the comments word value. If you feel like this is giving you something to like actually improve the quality of your life. And I don't know where I was going before the Instagram rudely interrupted me. Hi, Emily. What's up, girl? Um, but my point being is people ask me about the motivation. It's not motivation. It's self-discipline. I do the things that I know I need to do to move the needle. Oh, what I was talking about was how many of you guys are wonder about my confidence like my confidence in leading my confidence in business my confidence in my body my confidence just showing up on social media because i keep promises to myself when you continuously break the promises to yourself like i'm gonna work out and then you don't work out you're telling yourself that you don't trust yourself i don't and i know that, that doesn't really make sense because i didn't understand that until i started really getting self-disciplined like holy shit 
I'm confident as fuck. Like you cannot tell me anything because I know what I am. I know who I am. I know where I'm going and I'm go and I'm on a path to, to greatness, to success because I know the things that I'm doing is pouring into my self-belief, it's pouring into my, uh, obviously my self-discipline. And it's just pouring into my future. So when I get up and I write these I am statements, now the I am statements are pouring into my self-belief in, to begin with. Like literally I'm sitting down and I'm writing out the person that I want to be. And in a year, I'm going to read this book and I'm going to tell you everything that, in the, that I'm, I'm writing out in this book is going to be true. I have that much belief in myself. So it's building confidence in myself because you know what? Arrogance will come from talent. People who you see who are talented. How many of you guys follow people on TikTok that are uh, viral? Like they have millions of followers, right? Tell me some of them in the comments. Charlie D'Amelio. Now, these people tend to be when you meet them in person, and I've heard a lot of bad stories. You tend to meet these people in person, and they're arrogant. as Okay? Because they either know how to dance, they look good, whatever. That's talent. So you can have success come from talent, or you can have success come from self discipline and so confidence comes from discipline and i don't know how many of you guys need to hear that hi brandon what's up hi cayman hi peverita i don't even know if i'm saying your name right oh my god hi maddie uh please make sure that you share this out type in the comments where it's shared i know that it's going to bring a shit ton of value to a lot of people and if this changed your perspective on motivation type in the comments the word yes because for me it took me a long time to understand kelsey you're not always going to be motivated and that's the last thing i'll say about this Make sure you give, give this video some, some hearts, some likes if you're watching this currently right now. I had to say to myself, Kelsey, you're not always going to be motivated. You're not always going to feel like walking into the gym and going and working out. You're not always going to feel like doing another rep. You're not always going to feel like eating the fucking chicken. Sorry for my language. You're not going to feel like eating the chicken and rice the 10th time in a row, okay? But you, I thought this is TV, I thought Kelly's, but you do it. Because you're disciplined, because you know these little tiny tasks that you are completing every single day is going to get you to where you want to go, okay? So I don't know how many of you guys needed to hear that. And a lot of you probably thought this was going to be about my business. No. If you want to join me in business, there's a link in the bio where it says what I do for a living. You can go look at that. Uh, but I'm not just coaching you how to sell anything when you join me in business. I'm coaching you how to discipline yourself. Show up for yourself. Do the things that you have to do to get to where you want to be. Nothing is guaranteed in this life and there is no shortcut and there's no magic pill and there's no overnight success, okay? It's literally you being self-disciplined. You wake up, you do the things, you go to bed early. And sometimes that includes making sacrifices. Like we put our kids to bed at seven o'clock at night, like sleeping, like they're showered in the bed, 6.30, they shower, they get in the bed, we give them 15, 20 minutes to watch TV, and then, sorry guys, and then they literally, TVs are off, they're going to sleep at 7 o'clock. And number one, that gives Eric and I enough time, because I go to sleep at 9.30. So that gives Eric and I enough time to watch a movie, whatever we want to do, have conversation with each other, connect with each other, spend time together. And then it also allows my children to have an adequate amount of sleep, because how many of you guys... Again, you have kids and you're letting them stay up whenever, as late as they want, and you don't understand the impact that's having on their brains and their development. So we make sure that they get enough sleep. We make sure we have time for ourselves. It's self-discipline. We wake up in the morning, we go work out. We wake up in the morning, we mix our ketones. We, we do all the things that we need to do. And here's a big tip, okay? If you, how many of you guys, does anybody on here actually like run a business or uh, work from their phone or anything like that. Okay. Because when you run your own business and you work from your phone, you can tend to kind of get like slide, you get comfortable, you get into the groove of like, well, I don't really have to do anything. You know what I mean? And <coughs> Oh my God, hold on. And when you're running your own business, you, other people might not know that you're not doing the things you're supposed to be doing, but you know, who does know? You know, you know, when you're not doing the things that you should be doing and you are letting yourself down internally and over time, it's going to start showing in the way that you show up. Okay. Because you don't trust yourself and it's hard to lead other people when you do not trust yourself. Hi, Victoria. Hi, Majorie. What is up? What do you want to know? 
What do you mean? 100% right. So, anyways, I want to just go live and talk about that because motivation is a feeling, okay? I don't always want to get up and go work out, but I fucking do it anyways because I know that I want a fat ass. Thank you. Um, anyways, no, I'm joking. Not really, but you know, um, I know that I want to feel good in my body. I want to feel good in my clothes. And so I know that takes me getting up and going and moving my body. And if I wait until the end of the day, it'll never get done. So I hope that you guys got value out of that. And if you did, please make sure you share this out. Type in the comments where it's shared. I'm reading. You asked if you're a business owner. I know. I forgot where I was going with that. So I just veered off. <laughs> I never received my package from the drawing. I went, Melanie, holy cannoli. Okay, so text me again. I'll check my um, my receipts and all that and, and figure out what happened to that. Maybe it got lost in the mail or something. But text me again, please. Uh, if you guys do not have my number, it's linked in the bio. If at any point in time you want to text me and know more about joining me in business, uh, there my number is linked in the bio. You'll see where it says text me. Just text me the word biz, and that's really all you have to do. But again, I hope that you guys got value, and I really hope you shared this out. Because not only if, if this helped you, then I know it can help other people. And my whole goal this year is to just help people become the best versions of themselves. So please, if you have nothing else to do, or it doesn't even matter, just take a second, share this out, type in the comments word shared i also do a giveaway for everybody who does do that so you can win some free ketones i don't know i'm just saying it's gonna be a good time if you can get some free ketones because free ketones tastes better than ones that you have to buy but uh thank you brie for sharing i appreciate you girl thank you hannah for sharing i appreciate you girl thank you maddie for sharing i appreciate you girl uh, I really do appreciate all of you who are commenting and loving this and sharing this out it means a lot to me um, but it's 109. Gabe, my six year old, is going to. I will definitely tell him that you did say hi. Um, yes. So, Gabe's going to be home soon. He has a haircut today. Callie's home with me for all, all day because I just don't. I just want her to be with me because I just feel bad that she feels bad. So, uh, we're going to go in a little bit when she wakes up and get her medicine for her little problem down there. And then, hi Paige, what's up girl? And then uh, we're going to take Gabe to get a haircut, come back home, and then just close out the day. But I'm going to try and get away. I got a really late start to the day. Okay, but here's the thing. Here's what I know that I did. I went live so far. Now I just got to go live on TikTok. Are you guys on my TikTok? Type TikTok in the comments. Um, you don't see my number? My number is 843 380-6077. Um, but what I do know is I went live. Okay. Oh, if you didn't get your prize, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you share this out and you type in the comments the word shared, you have to make sure you watch my stories because in my stories is instructions on how to claim the prize. Okay. So like, obviously I need to get in contact with you. If you message, if you win, I need your address. So I need you to text me. So if you didn't text me, then that's probably why you didn't get it. Courtney, thank you for sharing. What is it? Sorry, how to get a pen. Uh, 843, somebody want to type it in the comments. 843-380-6077. Thanks for sharing, girl. I appreciate you so much. Um, but I know that I wrote my statements. I read my book. I mixed up ketones. I did move my body, even though it was for like 30 minutes because I had to like cut it short to go run and take Callie to an appointment. I got her like a last minute appointment this morning. Anyways, thank you for sharing, Savannah. I appreciate that. Hi, Cricket. What's up, girl? Uh, but I got all of the really important things done in my life this morning that's going to move my life and my business forward today. It's moving the needle. And that's all you got to worry about is just doing the small task that's moving the needle forward in your life. Every single day that you choose to go work out and to move your body. You don't have to lift heavy weights. Every day that you choose to go move your body, you're moving the needle forward on your fitness journey. So don't let yourself down. That's how you build confidence is by staying true to you, what you say you're going to do. And I hope that you, again, you got, you got value from this. And I really hope y'all share this out. I love y'all so much. Thanks for hopping on. And um, I'll see y'all live tomorrow. I'm going to go live on TikTok. So if you're on my TikTok, you can definitely hop over there and make sure that you come chat with me. I'll probably just chat about random stuff. I don't even know. Um, or maybe I'll talk about the same thing. Who knows? Maybe I'll do like a Q and a, if y'all want to do a Q and a over on TikTok. but Callie's still sleeping. So I feel like that's probably the time that I, I, I usually like to get all of my stuff done while the kids are sleeping. So that's exactly why I wake up, wake up at five 30 also, because I have to get myself done before they wake up. She is so freaky. Y'all want to see her. She's so cute. And she literally, I feel so bad. Can y'all even see that? You can't see it. Pointless. Anyway, I 
love y'all. And I'll see you guys live in a little bit on TikTok. See y'all later.